Okay, final thoughts. A, a video for uh, Salvation Road. Um, I checked uh, online for the rulebook. Um, and the Kickstarter, I was curious about the Kickstarter, so let's take a look at the kick Kickstarter. Um, of course, you can also check for yourself, but well, why, why, why bother? I mean, I'm going to show it here. Uh, so, the Salvation Road actually was a Kickstarter uh, from uh, 2000. Last updated 2016, um, and that uh, explains why there were uh, seven year old videos only. Um, so, um, let's see for the overview campaign page. Uh, there were 600 backers, it uh, didn't really go so well, but it was funded. But uh, just just barely. Um, so Fan Rider back in the day was uh, was not known that well. Uh, later they became famous with the Final Girl, and I see a lot of uh, uh, similarities uh, from the uh, product uh, series of Final Girl that this. Uh, Directly uh, can be traced uh, back to uh, Salvation Road. Um, that means that uh, as a company they have moved on, <coughs> and Salvation Road, it as as a product is uh, uh, can be considered uh, dead. Um, how it all started, uh, as you can see, the designer had already designed the self-documenting uh, uh, map. Uh, with the van on the left uh, and the compound and uh, all the little texts uh, so uh, these were known in advance uh, as well as the road decks and uh, um, the locations um, the characters are all the same um, and there's a rule book and the funny thing about the rulebook is that uh, if you, I, I did a comparison with this rulebook and the previous one. Uh, so you have here uh, the uh, version 4 Kickstarter rulebook, and this is the web version of the re retail rulebook. <coughs> Sorry, and uh, I must say that some things are. Uh, actually worse in the web rulebook than in the uh, version 4 uh, Kickstarter rulebook. Um, as a thing uh, to note, uh, for example, um, in rulebook differences, uh, so uh, the ammo in version 4 is uh, tokens to fight off the marauders. Uh, well, each token Discarded allows the players to reroll as many threat dice as they like, and this this, this is uh, gives the players agency, and this agency was just destroyed um, in the retail version because uh, the player controlling that character must re may reroll re as many threat dice as they like, and the chosen dice should all be rerolled together, and the new results must be accepted, uh, which uh, actually sucks, and uh, I, I mean. If you have a cool rule, <coughs> why do you uh, why do you make it bad? Uh, then mi missing from version four was the the rest uh, on the on the on the backside overview. So uh, where is it uh, in the box? And so here. Uh, they they forgot the rest action here, uh, but it is in the, uh, it, was, it was added later. Um, in, in version four, there is the fuel uh, to drive up to two characters required for all road, ca road cars. Now that makes no sense. Uh, the 
fuel act, uh, should be in action uh, in the action phase. Uh, so you just discard to immediately drive to a different location. Um, so that that is just uh, it, it. It implies that you have um, that you have your own buggy or something, uh, which allows you to travel safely, uh, in, in spite of uh, um, marauder infested uh, territory. And yeah, uh, so it ignores character abilities uh, related to movement. So uh, Susan uh, could also um, uh, use the fuel action and so the list of actions is uh, should be on, on a single page and um, it is hard to reason over the game state uh, because there are so many things that um, <coughs> uh, yeah uh, they refer to things that cannot be retrieved in the rule book so, so, so the, um, key game terms like explore um, which relates to the to the road events uh, should be uh, easily uh, retrievable in the in the rulebook. <coughs> so uh, the plan from for for now is to uh, um, to to wrap this up because I made too many mistakes. Also, um, the the, the rulebook should allow for uh, through solo. Um, it's very easy to do, um, but all the things that are printed for two players uh, so for example here uh, the buggies uh, that, that you, <coughs> you should follow the uh, for a true sort of the, the, the two, 2p version um, this means that you also uh, should draw three locations um, there Road uh, length should. Uh, it, it is. Uh, what was it? For two players? It, it's, uh, the, uh, that's the toll for salvation. Uh, the three uh, road events for, uh, uh, for, for two players. I think that is a little um, bit much. Um, so I would s say that. For true solo, uh, you only need to uh, um, take care of two uh, road events. And as you can see already, uh, with what I drew, uh, I would need four jerry cans and uh, four ammo. Uh, that requires a certain amount of uh, uh, searches, and each, uh, each search. Uh, um, increases the threat uh, because you have only one hero um, that's that's why I would say uh, uh, use uh, three locations so, so you can uh, divide divvy up the, the, the threat a little bit um, yeah so um, in the new version of the rulebook I would uh, add the, some achievements uh, that uh, that give you a bonus. Um, let's say what I what immediately comes comes to mind is that you want to do something with um, more orders. Uh, so I would say uh, anger issues. Uh, have one character in one turn remove uh, nine more orders uh, from the compound. Uh, so that's usually via the uh, action shoot. And um, yeah, you can shoot as often as you want. So that would cost you three uh, rounds of uh, ammunition. Um, but, but then you get a reward that would be a square uh, uh, character, or a, a square symbol in the um, uh, in the uh, unlockable um, bonuses. Uh, also, you can imagine a uh, freeway, so at a refresh uh, phase, begin the final journey with no marauders at the compound gate, with the truck having at least enough resources to pass the export road cards. That should also give you a second uh, tier um, uh, bonus. And if we take a look at the last version of the Salvation Road scoring uh, sheet, which I would um 
uh, adapt to to, uh, to 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 make uh, to integrate it in, into a rulebook. So things like uh, bonus gear would cost you three triangles and uh, two roads to salvation, uh, three triangles, and uh, and so on. And uh, the rules can s simply be uh, uh, expanded with uh, the, the, the unlock unlockable bonuses. So you tick them off um, as you go. Uh, the triangles uh, later become squares. Uh, so that this is one one deck dungeon uh, inspired. Um, and uh, for example, you have here. Uh, for the easiest version, the day after, uh, that's my own uh, text. Um, if you start the journey, you already uh, get a triangle, and um, the achievements give you give you a, a square. Uh, so, for example, uh, like this. Um, so you gain uh, certain triangles and uh, and squares. Uh, so you decide w which one you uh, you want to complete, and if you complete it, then uh, uh, you gain this uh, perk permanently. Um, that gives you some kind of um, roguelite uh, campaignish uh, f f feeling, uh, without being uh, an actual uh, campaign. Um, uh, another uh, achievement would would be to uh, to save all the uh, survivors, so, so to uh, tick off uh, a completion list, uh, which I kind of did here, uh, as I've shown before. Uh, so the um, where is it? Yeah, so the survivors uh, here. Uh, if you manage to save them all uh, at least once, uh, then uh, uh, you you gain a, a, a square or something. Um, just to uh, um, how do you say to to encourage uh, replays. Um, but the game flow should be uh, much more clear uh, than uh, both rule books uh, uh, manage. Um, so yeah, there's there's some stuff to do. Uh, I'm going to pack it up uh, because, uh, yeah, it, it's not really useful to, to play this. Uh, but, uh, too many things uh, went wrong. Um, yeah, and uh, as it is, I cannot recommend it. Um, it's uh, clunky, and there are all, a lot of uh, playthroughs, but uh, every 